In this video, I'm going to show how to create a left rotate tree transformation on a red black tree. Now, this is going to seem incredibly basic if you've seen red black trees before, but it's very good practice to get used to it. And then I'm also going to show how this would look with real values. The one thing I'm not going to do is actually talk about coloring the red black tree because that's not really necessary uh, in order to do transformations. On the left hand side, I have a portion of a red black tree. Uh, you could think of X being the, uh, the root node, or you could think of X just being a parent. And so I'm going to show you how exactly we can do this rotate. And so what we're first going to do is we're going to focus on the Y, and we're going to take the Y and actually make Y our new root node. So we're going to set Y up at the top and then from there what we're gonna do is we're going to slide X down and so X is now gonna be on the left hand side and is gonna be one of the children of Y and then uh, our alpha character is going to remain the same because it's still in that same value spot of uh, of X and X has a pointer to it. Now the one thing this is the really one of the only spots that gets kinda tricky is our beta right here. Obviously the beta cannot be uh, cannot move with Y because it's less than Y but it's greater than X and so there's really only one spot that that can go and right where it goes is right here and so we have our beta and then Y is left with gamma. And the, one of the reasons why uh, I did Greek uh, alphabet symbols instead of nodes uh, here is just so you can really visualize that what really happens in one of these rotates and the tree transformations is that everything centered around moving the nodes. And these, these leaves, could actually be seen as null values. And so another way that we can do this is actually to draw all of this uh, with the corresponding numbers because that may make it a little bit easier. So uh, let me actually get rid of all of this and there we go and now we're actually gonna put numbers inside and so uh, we're gonna start off with our uh, root node equaling 5 and then we're gonna go with a value of 1 over here and I'm not gonna make these um, I'm not going to make these very complicated. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. So uh, we're going to have a root node there. So, every, so we know everything on this side is going to be greater. And so we'll say that this is 7. And then this is going to be 6. And this will be 8. Okay, so we have a tree. And a lot of the things that you know from binary search trees are going to apply here. If you notice that the 1 is less than the 5, the 5 is less than the 7, 7 is greater than 6, but it's less than 8. Um, so all the same uh, principles apply. If you're not familiar with binary search trees, please watch uh, some of my videos. I've created a few talking about the principles of them and how they work. Um, so in order to do the exact same left rotate, we're going to do the, what we did when we had symbols, except now we're just going to be able to have it make a little bit more sense because we're going to have numbers associated with them. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, sw uh, swapping the 7 into the root node position, and we're going to slide 5 down. So now 5 is the child of 7, and then... 1 is still the child, and there's a pointer to 1 on the left-hand side because it's less. And then we know that 6 is greater than 5, but it's less than 7. So when we do that rotate, the only spot we can put 6 is right here, which leaves us with 8 in this position. And that's how to do a uh, rotate. This is how to do a left rotate. To do a right rotate, it's just the exact the same thing in reverse. So please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever.